We apply voltage VDS between drain and source as shown on your screen. Let us first keep the voltage small. Why we are keeping it this way will become apparent shortly. The first thing that happens is that current ID starts to flow in the induced channel. The electrons flow from source to drain attracted by the positive voltage at the drain. The current is obviously in the reverse direction due to convention. The current magnitude depends on the density of electrons in the channel. The density depends on the magnitude of VGS. When VGS equals VT, the channel has negligible current. As VGS increases beyond VT, more electrons are attracted into the channel. This can be visualized like this. An increase in channel depth. The conductance of the channel is actually proportional to the excessive gate voltage VGS minus VT. This is called the overdrive voltage. The current ID will be proportional to this as well as the voltage VDS. Also note that ID equals IS and IG equals zero. To put it simply, VGS creates a channel and VDS causes the current to flow through it by applying a potential difference. VGS cannot conduct current on its own, that is when drain and source are shorted, as both drain and source would be at same potential. And VDS cannot conduct on its own either, as without VGS, there would be no channel. Since the MOSFET requires a channel to be induced, and then a voltage to enhance it for conduction, this type of MOSFET earns the name Enhancement Type MOSFET or E-Type MOSFET. Other types exist such as the Depletion or D-Type MOSFET, but they are beyond the scope of this course since the E-Type is mostly used. Moving forward, take a look at this graph. This shows what happens when we increase VGS while keeping VDS small and constant. The relationship is linear.